action. Hello, this is my dummy's guide setting up an Xbox 360. As you can see, we've got our Xbox 360, and at the moment, there is no power. It doesn't turn on. So what we need to do is turn it around, and see this socket here, we're going to use this plug, I'm going to pop it in there, which is connected down here and goes into the power supply, which is now turned on and attached to the wall. So this should now, indeed it does, it has power. Okay, so we're going to turn that back off again and turn it around. And now we're going to connect it up to the TV which is above you. And we're going to do that by using this HDMI cable here, which connects into this socket down here, like so. So that's how it should look once it's got both cables in. So if we come up to the TV again, then we see up here we have two sockets around the side, and we are just going to oops, plug the HDMI cable into the TV, oh, if it goes, there we go, and you can see that's connected into HDMI 2 there, um, and so the Xbox and the TV are now connected, and if we come over here, then we can see the power supply connected from the wall to the TV to give the TV power, is also plugged in through a socket like that. Um, and then, what you'll find is that the TV is now connected to the Xbox and once the Xbox is turned on, they're now working together, which is good, yep, we can see that. So, once that's working, we need to be able to connect a controller in, which usually will look wired, like so. So if we use this, come around here, and plug our USB into this USB port then you see the controller is on and that now works. Yeah. So if we take that back out again, sometimes what you can find is you can get a controller uh, which is wireless and to do that you can look at image A, um, reference source A and if you press this button and hold that down then you see it looks like that and then as you hold down the same button on, on, from reference A on the wireless controller they will then sync and then it's all connected and you can use your Xbox. Uh. Hello, this is the next part of the dummies video to setting things up. And first off, we're going to um, show you how to connect up a PC, as you can see. So, first off, we've got to give it some power. So have your power cable, and that's connected directly to our power supply. And you want to put it in the port that has three pins, and shove that in, and turn it on. And then that's all connected, but for now we're going to keep it off because we're putting wires and cables in places. Okay, next we have just got to put in our um, mice and our keyboard. So it's usually done by a USB port, but it can be done for another cable. Looks like that, but we're going to use these USB ports here, as you can read. And so connect that in, and then next we've got to connect it to our, our PC to our monitor using one of these which as you can see from the even weird really weirdly shaped port it wants to go in here with you see that's then it connects up to that and as you do which as you can see from the even weird, really weirdly shaped port. It wants to 
go in here with you see that's then it connects up to that and as you do it up you want to make sure you do them little by little these little screws to get it connected without breaking anything and that should be firmly connected in there but don't do it too firmly the next we're going to connect it to the internet so we've got our ethernet cable and this goes straight into this squarish shaped one port and we're just going to plug it straight in there and then once you've got all of that you can just flick it on and then we can get to the monitor part And now everything is connected, you can see we've got our mouse and keyboard. We can move to behind our display and connecting up here. So we have our um, cable that connects the actual computer to the um, monitor, which again looks the same as it did on the monitor. And we've got to do it exactly the same using this one, making sure that the pins are all lined up correctly. That will connect onto there. And then we have this one too, which is the power cable which connects directly into your power supply, the power source, and it will just go in, like look at the shape, and then just connect it into the port that looks like it will fit. Just like so. Um, that's about it.